Hi everyone, it's Stephanie and I am back to show off some crafty hauls and some new kits um, and just some random paper crafting things. But first things first, I'm going to, I think I mentioned in my last video that I was going to, since I was having problems with the announcement um, or picking the name live on camera or on the video, I was going to pick two more names of random people to receive from the la entries from the last giveaway to receive some random goodies, um, just some small notepads and things related to planning. So I have the, I still have the um, names in this mug that my friend gave me. And so I'm going to pick just two random names. I'm just going to mix this up right here. And I'm going to get this out of the way early because um, I don't, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, you don't have to. So here are the rest of the two names. Um, they are, oh, Rose Flower. Rashida, who I know is Rashida, <laughs> um, you are one of the winners, and Sammy Lee. So I will, um, if you guys contact me um, with your, you know, in private message with your address, um, I will get out your little goodie bags to you. Okay, so that was that, um, and uh, congratulations, and I hope you like your, your new little goodies. Uh, speaking of new goodies, um, I have this new mat here, and I have had this, oh, I don't know, two weeks maybe? And this is, um, it's a little smaller than it looks. I have, you can't really tell how big it looks. It's, it's not too big, um, and it's from, it's called the Ken Oliver Best, the Best Ever Craft Mat. It's really, really sticky. It's, um, there's all kinds of benefits to this. Like it's not supposed to, um, you know, you can, you can do a lot of damage to it and just kind of springs back. It doesn't really show all the, um, doesn't really show all the wrinkles and that type of thing. See, and, um, it's very, very sticky, which I have found good for, and it's high, it's heat resistant. Um, I, I should have more information on this. Hold on. Um, Okay. Let me get the box, which I should have had ready already. Sorry if you couldn't hear me very well. So it is called the Best Ever Craft Mat from Ken Oliver. And Blitzy sells this. And it's good for heat tools, paints, inks, waxes, polymer clay, glue, sprays, solvents. I have not tried any waxes um, or polymer clay or... Um, solvents on this but um, for basic crafting um, I did of course use my fuse tool on it and it works great and what I do like about um, with the fuse tool this is a shaker pocket I made recently and it's for kind of Halloween um, card for somebody and I have these little cute um, wood veneer uh, cats from the Baxter collection by Studio Calico which I think they just um, stop carrying on their actual site, but is available through other retailers, of course. Oops, I'm trying to get that to focus, but it doesn't want to, and I don't want to waste that time. <laughs> so, um, so this is a shaker card that I made, um, and I use my metal dies, my thin metal dies, to make any shape I want around the um, actual um, whatever's going inside. And so this was really normally with my other mat. Uh, and there, I'm still keeping my um, silicone um, Heidi Swap mat, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But anyway, so the the main difference um, with this is I used my Ranger craft mat, which I love, and it still works great for certain things. And that would be um, probably one of the more popular um, ones for paint and that type of thing. So my Ranger craft mat. Um, the thing is, is that it was really slippery when I was doing um, things related to the fuse. And um, so if I wanted to do a circular pattern, I would have to do half of the, half of the, um, the, the shape, sorry, half the shape, and then put it on the mat and sort of make sure it was held down. I mostly had my Ranger Craft mat out when I was doing the fuse. Um, So the thing I really like about um, 
the Ken Oliver mat is this the stickiness is so good that all I had to do was as you can see you know it, it sticks really well it doesn't move around so I could just put the um, I could just put the die down and then I could do it without worrying uh, it could make the um, fusion without um, making without it moving or me having to worry about that so I really really did like that Although, when I use this tool, which is also a new item, and they also carry this at Blitzy or on Amazon, it's the Zutter brand tool at all. So it comes with um, it comes with this spatula tool, which is good for you know getting the stuff off the mat, and then this for um, rolling through intricate dies. And oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, I didn't put it. It has a it has an opening for the um, for keeping the other points that it came with, but I chose to keep them somewhere else. It also comes with the brayer attachment, so you could change this out to a brayer, and it comes with an exacto knife um, that you put into this. You know, and this is very familiar on a lot of tools. Um, this, these little teeth here. They open and close there, there, you can see. And then it comes with all of these, you know, um, the ball, ball point, um, ball head tools and the um, sharper tools here, point, pointed tools. And so it's got a lot of different, you know, you, you can have one tool with a lot of different uses instead of having, like I have, you know, like we have, um, you know several different tools which I still obviously keep around but um, you can replace a few of them I haven't really had the chance to um, test it all out but I thought the price was pretty good um, it was I believe it was around um, maybe twelve dollars maybe so I'm excited to try this out with some intricate dies, but I have not tried it out. So if you have it and you comment below, you can tell everybody how you like it. But what I was going to say about it is I, I was testing it out on some things on this mat, and I did find that even though this isn't a super sharp point on this spat little spatula thing, it did make some slight indentations, and it did not make any of those types of indentations in the silicone mat. So that's kind of all I really wanted to say about that. So I'm, I'm in the process of kind of testing those out, um, testing these new things out. But I really do like this mat. It's going to be great for the fuse because it's going to give a little more stability. However, the one drawback, well, the drawback to any of these um, sticky mats is the dog hair. And I don't know if you can see it. I, I use a, um, I use the lint roller to take off um, dog hair before I do a video or something or uh, every couple of days because it accumulates no matter how often the dogs are in here or not. So um, so that's my only drawback to having the really sticky mats. Um, and maybe I will separate this video out into, um, into a couple of different videos because I don't know. It's, it, this is getting long. I've actually stopped this and restarted it, so I know um, I know it's much longer than I'm looking at the time right now. Okay, so some other hauls. Um, so I have this addiction to Periscope, and I don't know if you if you do know what Periscope is, or if you don't know what Periscope is, and you might just be somebody who watches Periscope. I've done a couple. They went pretty good. Um, one was on just strictly on the introducing the dogs, which was fun. But um, the other one was a look into my craft room and some of the things that I do, some of the crafts that I do, and actually my doll jewelry business. But um, so there's a lot of companies, um, crafting companies, that are getting into Periscope, and they do these Periscopes and show off new releases and show off... Um, techniques and ideas and um, like you can find lots of great inspiration on Periscope and if you look at who I'm following I follow not everybody because I'm still finding people but um, a lot of crafty people and a, a lot of um, creative people and 
So if you want to check them out or if you want to recommend to me somebody that I should be following, then please do. And I will, my, my Periscope is at Kismet1990, um, which is also my, my Instagram. So um, that's where you can find me on Periscope and on Instagram. But um, so anyway, so, so <laughs> unfortunately it's not been very good for my, trying to get my spending habits down, um, my crafty spending habits down to concentrate on some other things. But, um, so this is one of those purchases. I have always admired the ton stamps on Instagram and have been wanting to get some cute things. Um, but it is, it was the interaction, of the, it was the periscope for the ton had, had done that um, prompted me, and actually on the bows, that prompted me to place this order so I really 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 wanted to get these bows and she gives she also includes a layering guide for the bows but isn't that great um, so I just thought that stamp set was really awesome and it is the ton stamps.com um, and then so I just think these are cute and this is called panda can't even um, and it just has a lot of fun stuff. And and a couple are missing because I recently used them to make. And I don't think she's watching my video. So I can show one of the versions. I actually sent the, the finished version off. But um, I made a little um, something she could put above her desk. And actually the finished, the, the completed version doesn't have as much water paper. So it's not as, I mean, watercolor on it. So it's not as wrinkly. And so I have to figure that out. Um, or if that's just going to happen. And also I'd like if you could recommend to me some good um, finishing. I know there's some spray that you can put on, you know, to protect the watercolor. Um, because that would be especially for the watercolor dogs that I do. And these are done, I, I do these freehand with watercolor pencils. And then I am um, then using the watercolor brush, uh, water brush. So anyway, so this is one of the stamps from the, the ton set. And then I use the same, sending you hugs and happy thoughts. Um, and then um, some watercolor. And these were just, these are these inexpensive, or maybe th maybe that's what it is. These are those inexpensive um, watercolor set, that one watercolor set from Michaels, I believe. Sorry, I keep walking away from the... Um, so these ones that you can get really inexpensively at Michael's. Okay, so um, I keep walking away, so I hope it's not too um, not too bad. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have to separate this out into a couple videos because this is getting really long. So I'm just going to show some more stamp sets, and then I'll come back with the kits um, because uh, I haven't unboxed my Pink Rose Studio kit anymore. Okay, so this is also another Periscope. <laughs> a periscope thing uh, that I fell into not because I didn't really I, I have lots I have other stamps from the sweet stamp shop um, but I just had not been placing I had just not tr was trying not to do was trying to steer away from trying to do everybody's you know buying stuff from everybody's new release even though I'd like to and I mean everybody there's so many new releases all the time so but this was these items were all bundled together as part of an early release that they just had last week they just had their um, their September release and so there were I think they said there were eight new stamps out something like that eight new stamps maybe um, and everybody on the Periscope um, you, if you're not following Sweet Stamp Shop, and of course it's Sweet Stamp Shop on Periscope, um, there are it's such a they're fun scopes all the time, and they have, it's great energy, and uh, you know love the behind the scenes and also you know sneak peeks. So this was a result of every these this little uh, bundle was a result of a, a lot of people asking on Periscope for um, them to um, bundle or uh, something or and also have these um, San Francisco exclusives from a San, the San Francisco meetup they did available. So, um, so see when they went ahead and put together, um, these, this bundle and, um, it, it there is a bit of a, dis this is no longer available. I mean, they sold out quick. They only had a hundred and um, so it was available Tuesday 
Tuesday evening or Tuesday afternoon and then their release was on Wednesday morning and I think she did that a little early too but um, but there are new stamp sets in the store she restocked the store and there were other stamps that I had wanted that I've been eyeing for a while um, that I'm still gonna get you know, I'm just trying to spread spread myself my my budget out <laughs> yeah budget right uh, spread my purchases out uh, for the most part so anyways but this so so this way um, I could not resist this bundle because it had these um, and this was all she has until she restocks these um, later uh, in a month I'm not sure how long but she did say they would be back in stock but I'm not sure when and since I am um, originally from I can say that I'm originally from Northern California I was bought if you have not watched my videos before or not um, if you don't know me <laughs> you you I was born in um, Monterey California I was born at Fort Ord which is um, no longer open as a base but I so I always say I was born in Monterey and um, I traveled first 10 years of my life as an army brat and then um, ended up from age um, 10 to 18 in Stockton, California, which is in the Sa in San Joaquin Valley in central, northern central valley, um, in California. Um, be that because that's where my mom and uh, and dad's families were from. So we ended up back there. My mom, my sister, and I ended up back in Stockton, and um, that's where I met my husband, who was born and raised in Stockton, and we graduated from the same high school. And we started dating late senior year, you know, that whole story. Um, anyways, um, so so then we moved out to Tucson shortly after graduation because he was coming to the University of Arizona. So anyway, so I, I miss San Francisco. I haven't been in a long, long, long time. And um, so I really, really wanted this stamp set. So it was, it's really cute. Like it has a mermaid and the, and the bridge and the... Um, the houses and this is these really cute things. So, anyways, so then these are all new release stamps, I believe. Um, I believe they're all new releases. This one might not be a new release. This one might have been in their shop already. But um, really cute for planning banners. Let me see. Does it say the name of this tags? It's called tags. Um, so there's that, and then there is this really cute one called Rules of Love. So it has a is a a guy and a gal, um, really cute. So these are going to be fun. I'm going to try not to make this too long, but I want to show you these really cute stamp sets. And this one is called Nod to Mod, and of course it's because the, you know stamp this sweet stamp shop is in Palm Springs, California. So uh, this is very Palm Springy, um, but also good for Tucson because we have a lot of cactus here as well. Although we don't really have the flamingos. <laughs> and then, of course, always so cute to get something that has a dog on it. Holiday Pup. And this one is called Mermaid Shelfie. Really cute. And I know that's, that was popular in the sneaks. And then this one has a lot of the same icons as some of the popular stamps and some of the new stamps. And they're mirrored images and small so that you could put them in planners as well. And this is called Between You and Me because there are paired sets of all of these icons. And I believe I, I'm not sure if I have the hedgehog or not. Um, I have the one with the koala bear already, the, the larger koala bear. Um, so anyways, these are really, really cute. Okay, so, yep, and this is going to be the last. I think the last stamp set. Oh no! Yes. No, oh, I guess I can show this one. Well, no. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be the last stamp set I'm gonna show right now. Um, pink bow ties. Um, Lamika's pink bow ties, and it's pink bow ties dot biz. Uh, I'm gonna try to see. I'll put that down below. Um, she's having a clearance clear out sale of her photopolymer clear stamp sets. It's such a good price and I have most of them already so there were only two sets that I needed and this was one of them and she has interchangeable here um, and it's really great um, image um, keep curvy and carry on and this is called dangerous curves and then I'm waiting for one other one um, called my prince which is the father-son set 
But so check her out and to see the great deal. She's still going to be doing digital images and um, but this is the last opportunity to get her photo the poly, photo polymer sets that she offers and I think they're really I, I really liked her stuff from for a long time and I have most of them so that's why I'm only showing one um, set because they're really even though they're a great deal I really only needed a couple to complete my collection and um, so I'm gonna leave that here so that's basically my hauls and then I'll come back with new items that are kits and talk talk a little bit about kits because I know my channel has been a lot of unboxing certain kits and now a lot of that is going to change because I'm going to be like down to like one or two kits a month and I'll explain all that all the reason for that in my next video so I hope you enjoyed seeing my new goodies and um, I hope you do um, get onto Periscope because I think it's a really fun way to see new releases to see how the actual um, owners and designers and companies um, make uh, get ready for their new releases and the and it builds a lot of excitement and it's fun for them and fun for you and they often give really good um, uh, like sneak peeks and also they they really listen it's really nice they they get a lot of feedback and they listen and that like that results in something like that sweet stamp shop bundle. So um, thank you for watching and happy creating.